Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm your coach of the Crystal Palace Sense, and we are here for week one of the UBL. We are up against the God of War Guardians and Coach Versus in what is going to be an epic matchup, I'm sure. I'm really excited. Very nervous. Uh, this is week one. We are here. Uh, I am your coach of the Crystal Palace Sense, Silverbini, and uh, we are about to uh, throw down. In, uh, in our week one match. Um, we've got an incredible team that we've been able to build together. If you did miss our draft analysis, uh, do be sure to go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. You can go, you can go check out and see the whole team and we break it down and sort of discuss what we've uh, what we've got overall. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do like team builders for like each week. Um, but the, for, for the first like week or two, I might just probably like kind of merge them in one. So in a bit, you'll kind of see uh, like a little time skip uh, if you want to go straight to the battle. Otherwise, you know, for today's uh, for today's match, I encourage you maybe just to watch the team builder. Um, it's going to be very short, you know, not hopefully not too long and just all breaks down as to you know show what we brought, why we brought it and give you a little bit of an insight on the, on the match ahead. Um, but um, but yeah, here we go. We're going to break it straight down. Um, before we go any further, actually, one a couple of things real quick. Um, don't forget the um, Crystal Palestine's merch is still available right now. You can check out the link in the description. You can save 10% uh, off your orders um, until uh, it's only available for a couple of weeks. Uh, you can save 10% off using UBL5 and uh, you can save 10% uh, on your orders. So check out the link in the description. Snag yourself some merch, snag yourself a sticker. You know you want that. So that's in the description below uh, but otherwise uh, be sure to hit that like button subscribe and let's break down the team today all right so uh my opponent uh they've got a very scary team they have got the likes of clefable skarmory milotic zarud lycan rot dusk uh nine tails uh, cantonian nine tails surfage vikavolt uh claydol uh dusk Noir, and kangaskon uh, so that's their team um not gonna lie very scary of overall uh the Crefable and skarmory uh Milotic and zaru kind of their main four they definitely scare me the most uh the rest of, the rest of the entire team is scary but those four kind of really they kind of hit they cover each other really well you know they've got their special bulk physical bulk physical offensiveness you know special offense they, they've done a really good job with those main four um the zaru this is the first time actually i'm ever battling zaru i have never battled against the zaru i don't even have a zaru myself like, so the, I am new when it comes to Zarud. Uh, obviously, I'm, I've done my done my practices. I've done my, some some tests. Obviously, I know it's it's uh, grass and uh, grass and dark. I know its defenses aren't crazy, but it's got decent speed, decent attack stats. So we've got to be careful. I'm expecting something like a choice band on the Zarud. My Lotus is going to be defensive, no doubt. Same with Skarmory body press. I'm expecting uh, set up hazards. I so actually is expecting to lead uh, Skarmory. Um, and then Clefable is just going to be a nightmare, and who, who knows, the rest can kind of be whatever. The only other one out of the rest of them that I'm actually really expecting to bring is the Vikavolt. I feel like Vikavolt actually has a really good matchup against me, um, and I, my, even my, my ground like immunities and, and stuff, I don't really have any of the best answers for Vikavolt. It's going to be an interesting one. But anyway, very quickly, let's break down our team, and then we'll jump straight into the match. So, we are going to be kicking off with Cobalion. Cobalion is joining us. Uh, Troy Scarf Cobalion. Uh, with um, 252 max defense and then 232 in speed. Just enough to basically guarantee that we outspeed uh, a Choice Scarf Zarud. Um, I suspect a Choice Band, but in the event he does run Jolly Choice Scarf, I outspeed it just by one point, which is very crucial. Um, we have enough um, We have enough like uh, attack investment as well. We can guarantee um, if, if the Zarud has taken a minus one from a close combat that it's used, we have enough um, attack investment where a close combat from us will just knock it out. Um, and we can do some shenanigans with that. Uh, we've got things like Volt Switch, uh, Iron Head, and uh, we've got Stealth Rocks as well, because we're Choice Scarf, so in the event, I need to kind of just get Rocks up. So, outspeeding, guaranteed Rocks, because Rocks are going to be very important, I think. I really want to try and make sure we get Rocks and Hazards on their side, just as much as they want them on our side as well. And um, I've only, you'll see in a set, but I haven't got too many Hazard Removal, like, actual, like, availability. Uh, at least this week, anyway. Um, but yeah, other would say, Cobalion's uh, going to be leading the squad. One of my MVPs for this week is the Bolton. I'm really excited to see what Bolton brings. Um, this is probably one of my favorite mons that we've drafted overall. Really excited to use it. Life Orb, max speed, max attack. Uh, we're actually running a Lonely Nature. Really unusual, but it's basically high attack, low uh, defense, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we're not going to be hit, like, we're, we're not going to take any hits, really, to, be, to begin with. The reason why I'm low defense is because we're trying Volt Switch, and I want to be able to use Volt Switch against things like the Skarmory, and Skarmory is going to obviously be physically defensive, and Thunderfang, ooh, Thunderfang, um, and Firefang, which we're also running, they don't really quite do enough. They do enough where we can guarantee sort of that last minute hit of sort of about the 50% mark, but Volt Switch does about 70%, give or take. That's a really nice big chunk of Skarmory, does about 70 to 80% defensiveness. Whereas a Thunderfang only does about 60 to 70. So we do a lot more with that. We do have to be careful with body press. It does do about 60 to 70% to me. But 
I mean, I have speed guaranteed, so I shouldn't really be staying in too long. And I'm only life orbs, so I'm not locked in. Um, there's a rude, we guarantee outspeed. There's a rude, and again, unless it's scarfed. Uh, Firefang does a huge amount, does about 60 to 70% to the, uh, to the rude. We're also running play rough, um, just in case for the fur, uh, surf fetch. And then it just gives us another alternative if we do need to hit the rude, like on a switch in or something like that. We've got not. My low tick is the big thing. We do a huge amount of th my low tick. Even if it's uh, competitive, max defense, max HP. Running, it hasn't got a status. We do uh, 70, uh, what was it, 77 to 90 percent to uh, with a Thunderfang to a my, to a max defense, max HP, like bold Milotic, absolutely insane. Uh, Volt Switch does about 40-ish percent, um, but if it has got a status, we only do about 50 percent. But but still, it's a guaranteed two hit KO from Bolton uh, with a Thunderfang on the Milotic, which is absolutely nuts. And the reason why we've not got a defensive uh, special defense in. Uh, like decrease is because we guarantee take at least one scold from the Milotic, so I can hit it with a Thunderfang. Guarantees take a scold back. Um, if we do get burnt, that's really unfortunate. But banking on that we don't, we can then knock it out in the following turn. That's gonna be good. Serena's coming in next um, with the heavy duty boots this week. Um, we just basically want to guarantee that we can get it in for free without having to worry about hazards. Um, it's got decent speed, seventy-two. Um, we actually have enough speed where after a rapid spin, we gain a plus one speed, so we then can actually outspeed. Uh, I believe it's Choice Scarf Zarud. We actually outspeed Choice Scarf Zarud. Uh, no, Choice Ban Zarud. Uh, just... Choice Ban Zarud after a plus one uh, from the Rapid Spin. Uh, U-Turn does a huge amount. Does about 80 to 100% to Zarud. So again, that's kind of where rocks come in to help chip it down a little bit more. Um, obviously, a U-Turn from the Zarud back to me does a huge amount. So I have got to be careful, which is kind of why I'm banking on it being locked into something like Power Whip or something like that. Just so it... Um, Milotic is the big one as well. We do like 80 to 100% to a max defense Milotic with a, with a power whip. So again, big damage there. Ice Beam does do about 50% back to me, but again, as long as we land it, we can get a big smack off. Uh, Lycan Rock is another one that we've sort of prepared for, just in case it wants about speed. Obviously, thanks to Queen Your Majesty, we're immune to those uh, to those hits. If it does decide to go for like close combat or fire fang, we take it about 70, 80%, and then I can hit it back with a power whip, and it guarantees to go every time. Even if it's max defense, like bold, whatever, it we guarantee. Tarkspex is here as well. Uh, Tarkspex, we are running max HP, max defense uh, with a uh, bold nature. Uh, we Basically, we're just there to sit and stall. My plan is to lead Toxapex. Um, if they don't bring uh, if they don't bring the Claydol, I think I'm actually going to lead Toxapex because Claydol's the only ground type. Um, and it's my only thing I'm kind of worried about. I'm kind of banking that they don't bring it because like, you will see that. Actually, I've got quite a few ground weaknesses this week. Um, in fact, looking at my team, I've got four ground weaknesses. Which is not going to be good. So I'm banking that they don't bring the clay doll. Uh, Zeru does get Earthquake, I believe. But uh, actually, no, it doesn't. It gets uh, Thumping Tantrum. So, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, it doesn't get Earthquake. It gets Thumping Tantrum. So that is one thing we have. We can and uh, sort of... Uh, and we're also there to take on the Skarmory. Like, every time Skarmory comes out, Fox Pets comes out. And thanks to Regenerator, we're gaining back that health every time. So we ain't got to worry about it. A Dragon, Max Speed, uh, Max Special Attack, Choice Specs, uh, running uh, Draco, Dark Pulse, Flash Cannon, Flamethrower. Uh, we pretty much just smack everything. Uh, Flamethrower is obviously mainly there for the Skarmory. There's a Rude if it comes. Uh, otherwise, we just Draco everything, and Flash Cannon's there for the Clefable. We actually do a huge amount to um, to, uh, to Clefable with the Flash Cannon. We do about 70 to 80%, depending on if it's physically or especially defensive. So we have got that going for us as well. And uh, yeah, Flamethrower to the Rude does about 80%. We're doing nice big damage there and then last but not least we're bringing turtonator uh this is really my answer to viker uh if viker Volt comes in i switch straight into turtonator um we guarantee take any hit we can guarantee take any hit uh, at least twice thunderbolt does about 20 or so the same with bug buzz about 25 percent uh flamethrower doesn't do as much because uh, viker Volt does actually have quite a lot of decent defense um even though it's more on the spe like, special offensive side it's got quite decent uh, special so we're going uh, we're only doing about 70 percent but an overheat, which is also what we're running this week, does about 90 to 100. So again, depending on their, their sort of uh, defensive investment, we guarantee just pretty much knock it out. Uh, I mean, this is going based on a, um, on a bulky uh, Viker Vault with uh, a 90 to 100%. So if it's not bulky, we should knock it out. Um, and then otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much the squad. Um, that's at least broken down anyway. Um, let me know your thoughts. As I say, I mean, the Clefable, Skarmory, Milotic, Zarud, I can 100% see coming. I suspect the Viker Vault to come as well. And then as a, as a sixth one, I, I could see the nine sales maybe coming. Maybe handled Cobalia and Serena, maybe if they bring like a choice star variant. Um, I, I'm hoping I don't see Claydol. Um, I really don't want to see that. They haven't got, they've only got Skarmory really. Skarmory and Claydol are really their only kind of hazard removal. So we've got that going for us. But who knows? We'll see what they bring. We'll see what they do. We're going to get all connected up. Wish us luck. And let's jump into the battle. Okay then, we are all connected up. 
Here we go. Once I press A, the battle pretty much begins. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these battles where we've got a little sort of weird timer. So we've, we've got like a 10 minute timer to choose our moves and everything. So it's, um, yeah, we're just, we're just going to go straight in for it. Um, uh, we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Let's see what they bring. Um, here we go. And there we are. Oh, let me grab a quick screenshot just so I don't forget. So they don't bring, yes, they don't bring the clay doll. Good, 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 good. No clay doll there, which is what I wanted to see. Uh, they do bring the surfetch and they bring the lichen rock. I had a feeling they would. Um, that's that's fine. Um, I. Oof, nervous. Here we go. Okay, so I think I'm going to do my sort of plan, which is basically to lead with Toxapex. Um, I want to get Spikes up as soon as. Um, they actually didn't bring my Lotic, actually. I've just realized. So that actually changes my strategy. I've just realized they didn't bring my Lotic. That's huge. That's huge. That changes Luna's uh, kind of use. Um, wowzers. Okay, didn't expect that. Okay, maybe I don't lead you now. Um, wowzers. Did not expect that. Okay, so I'm actually going to lead... Um... How do I do this? Uh, I feel like okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to my gut, and I think I'm gonna go with Toxigeddon because I feel like they're gonna lead Skarmory. I mean, that's who I would expect to lead. Uh, I doubt they lead. I mean, they may, they could lead anything really. I don't know what their strategy is. I'm thinking I lead Toxapex, get my spikes, uh, my Toxic spikes up as soon as start weathering down their team. Uh I think that's what I would go for. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Um, I wish you the best of luck, my dude. I pray for no hacks. Um, I'm just going to make a note of their team. So we've got Surfetch. Uh, oh, I never chose my music. Damn it. I don't even know what it's set to. Hopefully, you get it sounding good, guys. Do let me know, though, as well, if there's any audio issues. So they bring the Viker Vault, which I had a feeling they would. The Viker Vault is definitely one of the scariest things on their team, in my opinion. Do they lead Skarmory? Shakira. Skarmory. Okay, so we called... Well, to an extent. I mean, we called that... So, he doesn't do anything to me, nor me really to him. I mean, I can scold. I can get some damage off there. But we don't really do much to each other. It's more so just kind of getting up hazards. Um, I think I just go for the spikes, really. Because uh, Skarmory, it can do anything it wants. It's most likely going to spike itself. But he doesn't have a poison type on his team. I want spikes up. Let's just go for it turn one. Not even going to overthink it. He stealth rocks. That's fine. I basically want to sort of encourage him to uh, go for... Um, I basically want to encourage him to go for the uh, defog. So if I can get my spikes up, I'm going to try and going to get a second layer up now. I'm going to get up as early as possible. If he defogs, that's fine. He outspeeds, so I'm always going to get that extra layer up. It just gives an extra something to think about. And the only thing that I'd say, other than the Skarmory and the Vikavor, everything's going to get poisoned. Obviously, you could Fable, as soon as it gets poisoned, we will know whether or not it is, uh, what is it, uh, Magic Guard? It's Magic Guard. That's the ability. He's actually going to withdraw turn one. That's fine. And you're going to go into Plasma, which is the Vikavolt. Okay. So this is... That's fine. I'm going to get my second layer of spikes out. I don't think Vikavolt gets Defog. Um, if it does... I actually don't know. Does it? No, it doesn't. I didn't think it did. Okay. Uh, the, I'm going to switch straight into Splody Head. Splody Head's my switch in for this. Um... We are going to take up some big damage, whatever comes my way. I'm expecting Volt Switch. Um, it doesn't really get anything really that can hit me super effectively. Um, so whatever it hits, it's going to be neutral or resisted. So this will be interesting to see. Obviously, we've got, we've got the Heavy Duty Boots, and he's going to find that out straight away. Um, and he does Volt Switch straight away. That's fine. Um, so he does go for the Volt Switch, which is fine. As I say, we took that quite well. Um, let me actually... Uh, I can now get my HP bar up here. Um... So we can kind of start taking note. So how much did he do to me actually there with the with the Turnator? Um, I need to actually have a quick. Uh, so the Vikavol. I'm just gonna. As I say, I'm just gonna have a quick look. Uh, so he actually is gonna go into Lichen Rock. Okay. See Lichen Rock. I'm not really sure what my best switching for that is. Uh, if I'm being honest. Um, that's yeah, actually a good position. Sweet. Um, okay. So we've, uh, he actually didn't do too much. Now. An earthquake from him, I'm assuming, is actually going to like really hurt, um, or really anything. So I feel like I have to switch. Um, I don't really have the best switch in, but I think I just go Toxigeddon. Um, hmm. Like if I, he goes for anything, 
Um, yeah, anything like a stone edge is going to hurt. So let's go for the... Let's go into Tox Specs, see what he does. Um... Let's see what he does. Does he go for the ground type move? Like drill one? I think is the only move it gets. What does he go for? He does go for the drill one. Okay, that's fine. Um, we're going to see how much this does. This is going to do a good chunk of damage. We are Rocky Helmet, so he's going to see that. He's also... Is he Life Orb? He is Life Orb. Okay, so he's taking a lot of damage. He's also badly poisoned, so he's not going to be able to take too many of those. Right, he's down to about 55% now. Okay, so we see drill one. Um, okay, so... This puts me in a really tricky position. Um, we know his life orb, so he can freely switch up his moves. If I go into Hydreigon right now, he, he might close combat, which is going to hurt. Uh, ooh, what do I do here? Um, I really don't have the best switch in for this. Um, I could go Lavender, but then that really put, like, hinders up my, my set. I think I have to go back into Splody, but that's kind of my switch in for the thing. Pretty annoying. Okay, let's go into Splody. I've got, I've got to try and make, try and make these moves quick. I don't think he's going to drill one again. He's going to probably go for switch up his tactics. But now that he knows that I am boots, um, by four. Is that just going to hard switch? Okay, that's fine. Blitzo, what is that? Fable, what have I just switched into? Ah, oh, the Turtonator. Ah, uh, not the worst, but definitely not an ideal situation. Um, that's a bit annoying. I mean, if I'd gone for High Dragon, that, that would have been even worse. Okay, so I'm assuming that he's not going to take any damage. Uh, is a Moonblast going to hurt me? Uh, it's going to do about 25-30%. Um, I could overheat, and actually this is going to do big damage to whatever comes in. So I think I might just go for an overheat. It's going to do about 35 uh, plus damage. I'm just going to go for it. There's no Dynamaxing in this, so I have got to be careful with that. He does go straight for that Moonblast. This should do no more than 30%. We go from 135 to 90 uh, so, okay, and we do about 25 to him, which is a little bit more than I was expect, a little bit less than I was expecting. So that lead tells me that he's specially defensive. That's fine. I'm gonna go back into Toxigeddon. Um, that's absolutely fine. So I am. I, was, I don't take any black sludge, so I have got to be careful with that, and I can't keep switching around because obviously not all of my mons have, um. You know, the Rocky Helmet. So I have got to be careful there. This shouldn't do a lot. Yeah, better than it. Um, I could recover here. Oh, he does get a special attack drop, which is fine. Um, I have got to be careful because I can't just... Uh, I could just recover here. I think I'm going to recover. I'm assuming he's going to switch. Um, Thunderbolt! Oh, -ho -ho! that's insane. One, I forget this thing even gets Thunderbolt. And two, great prep. It's a shame that it didn't do it did it did as little as it did. Um So he literally he has Thunderbolt. That's that's okay. Wowzers. <clears throat> I don't have a ground type on me either, so that really puts me in a tricky spot. Um I need to get more damage off before I can start switching into anything else. I could go into Comet. Comet is free to take some hits. I can't get paralyzed though, it's my only issue. I can't keep switching around either. Okay, uh, I'm running out of time, so I can't take too long here. I think Comet's my play. Let's go Comet. I've got to be careful that I don't take too much damage. We've Although we have... Because I need to keep Toxapex alive. Because Toxapex is essentially my Wincom. Because everything's going to slowly get poisoned. So I'm hoping he doesn't Moonblast and he Thunderbolts again. He does Thunderbolt again. Ready for no para. Please. That's huge. That essentially now turns the tide and really now makes my thing useless. Okay. It is what it is. Um, oh, that's huge. That is actually huge. Okay. I just need more damage off on this thing. Um, I think at this point, as much as I want rocks up, I have to iron head. I need the damage. Um, he might just switch. He does. I should have brought him for rocks. Bad play on my part. Shurika, what is that? That's the Vikavolt, isn't it? No, it's this thing. Oh, it's going to absolutely eat this. Oh, what an idiot. Yeah, literally, it ate that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, we find out this thing's leftovers. To be honest, it's not surprising. And I'm assuming it's going to be probably weak armor, actually. Um, actually, no, because it's not it's not weak armor, so which means it's sturdy. All right, I have to switch. That's so annoying. Okay, I'm going to go into Toxigeddon. 
Uh, Toxigan is my down, my dedicated switch into this thing. Um, he might defog here, which I don't think is best case scenario. Funny, I'd, I should have Volt switched there actually. To be honest, that was a, that was a bad bad read on my part. So what does he go for? He's gonna withdraw again. Wow, he's he's probably calling my my switches. Yeah, he's calling these. All right, well, props to preps to him. The Viker Volt's back in. Uh, I've got six minutes of my time, so I gotta make these switches quick. I have to go into Splody Head. Splody Head's my, um, my switch in. There's not much I can do. He's probably going to switch back himself. He's actually staying in. Okay, but he's probably Volt switching. I think the next time I've got to call, make that read, and just sort of, yeah, he Volt switches. I've got to get back on the offensive, because right now I'm very much on the defensive side. Um, yeah, this is not going to end well. I think Turn 8 is going to have to go down here. I might have to make a couple sacks, um, just so I can start getting some free switches in. Once Bolt, uh, once like, uh, once Luna the Bolton comes in, we can start smacking stuff a lot better. Because okay, Fable comes back in. Um, again, I just want damage. I mean, I could rapid spin, but it's going to be pointless. Uh, I just want the damage. I think we did twenty five percent last time. We know it's magic, uh, magic guard. I think I'll just go for another one to guarantee some damage. Um, is that you're going to wish? Wow. Okay. Um. Wow, props to my opponent. Okay, okay, wish. Yep, I can, that's... We're now taking him down a lot more. Wow, okay, so wish. Uh, we don't know what item you are either. Uh, I'm assuming then at this point, then you're going to have prote protect. Um, I... I don't think I just want to guarantee, like, you just go down. I'm going to switch into Comet. And pray that you did something. I don't know. It's a really tricky scenario. I have to say, I really hate Clefable. It's really annoying how Clefable works. Okay, what's he going to go for? Did he go for the attack? He went for the attack. I was hoping he'd protect. Well, we can't be paralyzed any more than we already are. Um, and he goes back up to near full. Fine. Um, I think this time, do I Iron Head again or do I predict that switch? I feel like the switch is pretty safe. I might just go for Stealth Rocks this time, actually. Yeah, I'm going to Stealth Rocks and actually let him take me out. He's going to withdraw. Okay, so I think we made the right play. He goes into... Okay, so he goes back into this thing. That's fine. Oh, the full power. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. I'm hoping... Does it lock me in? I bet it does, doesn't it? I bet it still locks me in. Can I... Oh, I can. Sweet. I'm going to bolt switch. I should outspeed. Bolt switch should do a decent amount of damage. It's not going to kill, far from it, but it should do a decent chunk. Okay, so we landed this time. That's good. Yeah, nice chunk of damage. Um, we're going to switch. I'm assuming he's going to go for... I have no idea. Something. I'm going to go straight into Toxapex. Um, I know you don't get U-turn, so I'm assuming Spikes or something like that. I really am hoping Spikes is not the answer, but that's... He does go for the body press. Nice. Okay, that's good. That's what I wanted. More chip damage. Perfect. Okay. Um, so he has leftovers. So, okay, how much is that taking back up to? About 50%? Just under, give or take. I am this time, I'm going to scold this time because it's going to hit this. It's going to do about 20% or so. He's actually going to roost. That's fine. Can I get a burn on you? That will really start chipping you down. Uh, that'll be huge. If I can get a burn. Okay, we do about 25%, which is nice. No burn. That's really unfortunate. Um, he does reveal Roost, which is good to know. And he did show Body Press as well. Okay, I'm going to actually Scold again. Um, I just want to get... Uh, even if he switches into Toxapex, um, the Toxapex, uh, the the Viker Bolt, um, that's fine. Okay, so he switches into this thing, which makes sense, actually, to be honest, because it's the best thing he has to take hits. Um, okay, we do about 25%. Not even that, about 20%. That was a crit. Wow. The Fable is the biggest threat, in my opinion. I I barely can do anything to it. I think at this point, I have to let Comet go down. Um, as much as I think I still need it for the rest of his team, I can't. Like It's 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 paralyzed. It's really weak. There's not much I can do. His best bet probably... I'm assuming he's just going to Thunderbolt. Um, I'm kind of hoping it takes me out. Um, yeah, let's see. 
It does indeed just take me out. Okay. So, can I go into Bolton and start smacking this thing hard? He's down to about 60... No, he's about, uh, about 90%. Um, I could go Maleficent, maybe. My Dragon. Flash Cannon's not going to do enough. I need more damage on this thing. Uh, let's go Lavender. Got to be careful with my timer. I've probably only got like five minutes left. One thing I hate about this, I've actually I've actually lost a match because I've gone down to timer. So I have got to be careful with how long I take. Um, okay, I don't take much damage from you, so I'm actually going to go straight for the... Uh, we're free to switch around move. I think I'm going to go for the power whip. Go straight for damage. I might rapid spin, actually. That might have been a better play, actually, if I'd rapid spin. Yeah, I should have rapid spin. Are you going to go Zarude here? No. Nope. Knockoff would have been the better play. But then again, do you have Brave Bird? You might do. We're going to power whip. It's going to do barely anything. Yeah, barely absolute anything. Um, I outspeed, so I'm free to... I am free to turn here. Um, yeah, I am free to U-turn, so that's fine. Unless he's got speed investment, I have speed. And if he has speed investment, then props to my opponent for prep. Props to my opponent for the prep. He is going to hard switch. That's huge. He's probably predicting me to switch, but now I've just done that. Okay, he's gone into this thing. Oh, the Viker Vault. Okay, I could actually do something to this thing right here, right now. And this is actually going to be... If I go into Bolton, can I take you down? <sighs> It'll be close. I think I have to go Splody Head, actually. And if I, go into, if I go into this thing, I go into turn here, sorry. I just click Overheat and I just guarantee you take it out. Well, more or less. And he's trying to get rocks up. If I can get rocks up, that basically then reduces this thing switching. So that's my last move with... Uh... Oh no, Cobalion's gone. Didn't he? I literally, it just... I could, like, you could probably see the the like the thought trying to run down my head. Uh, I'm going to overheat. I just want to guarantee the damage. He might... He might um... He's going to switch. Assuming Clefable comes in. Yeah. Clefable comes back in. I'm just going to overheat. Land it. Nice. Big damage. What needs like a crit? That's what I need. Because we take it down to 50, like to about 25%. Okay. Um, see, now I'm running out of switchings. I'm really running out of switchings. Uh, okay, I'm going to go into Lavender. I guarantee you take a hit. So, as long as, again, as, long as it doesn't come, it, does, it just comes down to whether or not he paralyzes me. Just don't paralyze me. I'm assuming he's Moon Blasts, which should only do about 40% max. Actually, wait. So. Yeah, you did about 50%. He's gone for the Wish. Um, I think I just Power Whip this time. His Power should do about 50%. And also, it'd be good to know what your last move is, which I'm assuming is going to be Protect then. Which is, goes into Skarmory. I need... Ah, oh, I wish I got Rocks up. I'll tell you now, these two would be literally so limited on what they could do. Ah, uh, I'll tell you now, these two are, honestly, it's such a, they're such a pair, such a duo. I mean, nothing else has even entered the field. It's literally been three months that I've done all the work. Okay, I don't think you have Brave Birds. I'm going to knock off this time. If he has Brave Bird, well, well done for kind of keeping that hidden. Uh, but I'm going to knock off this time. I'm thinking he's going to switch back out and I just want to knock off whatever's coming in. Hey, you now, this is a nightmare. We've now got half our time. He stayed in. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, body pressed. Okay, that shouldn't do a huge amount. It's going to hurt, but it shouldn't do... Yeah, it shouldn't do... Uh, I'm going to U-turn. Okay, so at least this thing's item's gone, which is, is really good. Uh, he stays in. Okay. Oh, now what are you doing? We take him down to about 25%, uh, about 75%, sorry. Uh, again, I'm going to go straight back into Toxapex. Um, I do outspeed, so if he does switch here, then that'll be, that'll explain it. Actually, no, he wouldn't have U-turned, so it's fine. So he's going to, he's going to keep attacking. And body press again? Or is he boosting? <laughs> We're going to literally go down to timer because we keep switching around and stalling. I've got four minutes left. I just have to scold. I need damage. Oh, no, that was a misplay. He's going to go straight into Clefable. Why am I even doing this? What an idiot. Comes into Clefable. 
I need to. Oh my day! It goes into plasma this time. Okay, well that's a biker bot. At least then, at least it's something different. At least it's something different. Oh my days! Right, decent amount of damage. Burn. Yes, finally progress. That is what I like to see. Okay, so uh, volt switch. Okay, volt switch does actually can possibly take me out. Oh my giddy yard. Okay, I go into. I think at this point, Splody Head's done his done his work. I just go into Splody Head and kind of just sack it. Oh my days. Okay, I think once Luna can get an opportunity to come in, we can start doing some damage. Um, does Volt Switch? Fine. This is where rocks have come in really helpful. Wish I got them up. I should have rather than Volt Switch in that turn. I should have gone for the Stealth Rocks. That's what I should have done. Uh, okay, Clefable comes back in. Um, if I flamethrow you instead... I'm going to flamethrower. Because two flamethrowers should take you out. Ah, you moonblast. Yeah, it's going to take me. Um... Okay, so I can go into... I could go into Maleficent right here, actually. Actually, that's a good play. Um, I could go into Maleficent right here, right now, and actually Flash Cannon. Um, if I if I click Flamethrower, does that do enough still? Not quite. Okay, let's go into Maleficent, and let's kind of scare him out. Moonblast is a guaranteed Oko. The Flash Cannon at this range does kill. Uh, what's Flash Cannon doing to the Skarmory? I'm assuming absolute bugger all. Whereas a Flamethrower is going to near enough one-shot you. I just don't have enough damage yet to guarantee on the on the Flash on the Flamethrower, I don't think. If I'd Fire Blast, this would be a different scenario. I have to go for Flash Cannon. He's going to switch. You would not... There's no way you would not... There's no way you would not switch right now. He's going to switch. He stayed in. <laughs> the steel berry. Oh, you're going to take this. No. No. Yo, you can't be mad. Bye. <laughs> no. Ow, I just banged my elbow. You can't be mad. You cannot be mad. I bet he's chuffed about that one. You cannot be mad. Okay, it is what it is. Uh, we can make it work. Luna comes in now. And finish this this off. You can't be mad. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay. Um, I should be able to basically click anything at this range. And it should take it out. If I Thunderfang, I'm just going to Thunderfang. It should take this out. And maybe snag a power on anything that comes in. I really banged my elbow. That actually really hurt. I, t I banged it right on my desk. It comes into the rude. We get poisoned. Okay, if this thing's scarfed, then we're in trouble. We're actually in a bit, a lot of trouble with this. Daft. Um, we can't paralyze it, unfortunately. Um, oh, it's Rocky Helmet. It's Rocky Helmet. Okay. Um, so. Okay. Um, Fire Fang doesn't quite do enough. Not at this range. It needs just a bit more damage. Um, I can't really dump many switch-ins. Um, I... It just doesn't do enough. I'm going to have to Volt Switch. I literally need, like, one more turn. I literally, like, now, I'd knock it out. I'd knock it out with fire. Unless he's got, like, unless he's got, obviously, bulk. Um, I would, at this point, range, I'd knock it out. Okay, I don't know what's coming in. I'm scared. I'm terrified. I am very limited on my resources and switch-ins. I have to go into Lavender. I don't think we're going to be able to pull this one out. I really don't. Um, I've definitely made a couple bad misplays. I really have. Uh, at this point, I have to go into Serena. I mean, a U-turn from this thing, which is what it's going to go for, actually probably will take me out of this range. Oh, we're living. We are living. Uh, actually, that's probably because he's not banded. Actually, that's not banded. Rocky Helmet. Um, yeah, we're really in a tight position on this one. Bolton is essentially my last resort. He's got, he's pretty much still got all six members of his team, which is nuts when I think about it. Absolute nuts. Skarmory's is switching. 
I I have to U-turn. Like, I don't really know what else I can do. He's going to body press me. I just, I am very limited on switch-ins. The fact that we didn't take out the scar, uh, the fable that ran that round is huge. I should have actually called the fact that, do you know what? I forget about the berries. Every time I forget about the berries. I should have called the fact that because we didn't notice leftovers or anything like that along that line. Actually, why am I U-turning? There's rocks up. I should have rapid spinned, actually. That was a huge misplay because I think I actually go down to coming in now. Oh, we might live. I don't think I do, though. That might have been a misplay, actually. That probably could might cost me, actually. I think that's going to cost me. That's going to cost me. I'm, I'm calling it. I'm seeing it now. Ah, that's enough. Even with, um, even with us getting all these Toxics up, I think we had a really good start getting that Toxic Spikes up and stuff. You know, getting in a really good position. But I think... It all went down here as soon as Corbalion got poisoned and just everything like that. I'm going to scold um, regardless to what comes in. I mean, the Zerud could come in at this point. Now that everything's poisoned, uh, which is, the, I guess, the downside to actually. Because I was banking on the Milotic. And to be honest, actually, as soon as I saw, didn't see the Milotic, I should have I should have changed my strategy. And I didn't. Um, um, I'm hoping we can take this thing out. Please do enough. You're actually kidding me. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scold. He's gonna thunderbolt me, but I'm just gonna scold. Don't just don't paralyze me and then get a full power because I'll actually cry. Doesn't get either. Thank goodness me. All right, well we got rid of one thing. Yeet. <laughs> no. Okay. Well we got rid of that thing. I mean he's still. I mean now we can just go into the Viker Vault. Yeah. And now at this range, I think I have to just. Uh, yeah. mm. I don't know what else I can do. I'm trying to think. Luna's my last right limp win resort, but I don't think I can actually win enough hits. And then the Lycan Rock's going to have a Cell Rock, which me and it's going to outspeed everything. I really don't know what I can do here. I really don't know what I can do here. I'm going to go down regardless. Um, I think this is uh, I think this is GG. I'm just trying to see, like, at this point now, the timer doesn't really matter because I'm going to, like, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to scold on the off chance we actually live the Volt Switch. Actually, no, we don't win. We won't live the Volt Switch. I was looking at the wrong calc. Yeah, we don't live the Volt I was just looking at the Bug Buzz count thinking, oh, we might actually live this because it does about 30%. I was thinking, oh, yeah. We're in a good position here. I'm gonna stay in. Uh, nope. Oh man. <laughs> you can't be mad. Tay Nether versus. I mean, props to him. He's a great battler. Make sure you guys go check out his perspective. By the way, I'm sure right now he's having a great time, loving it. Um, I was really confident coming into this match. Um, and the fact that I didn't see the Milotic, I was convinced that Milotic was coming. Um, I think they just obviously realised the fact that I had obviously like with Bolton and Serena, we just did a lot to it. Um, we were just in a really tight position. Um, Remus comes in, and this is kind of really GG. I really can't do much to this thing. I have to go into Luna and basically kind of bank on the fact that a Cell Rock doesn't take me out. Which I don't, I, which I'd be very surprised if it did, if it did not take me out at this range. I, I basically, that's what I have to bank on. So I'm going to click it, and this is where we're going to say G. We're going to get 5 0 Pretty annoying. Yeah. That's really annoying to get 5 0 not gonna lie. Um, he's life orb as well, so he'll outspeed my, my incoming attack. Poison's not gonna do enough. <sighs> it's really annoying. Really, really annoying. We're gonna throw him the GG's. Um, uh, he, he prepped really well. Um, you can't be mad. Like, they prepped really well, they did what they had to do. Uh, I'm just gonna, on the off chance for some reason that they choke, uh, miss, and in whatever attack they decide to go for. Holy moly, I could have actually done something here. Oh, actually, no. I can't do anything. Uh, well done. So they're actually trying to save for differential then, I suppose. Um, I literally can't do anything to this thing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep knockoffing. That's a shame. It sucks to lose week one. It really does, especially by such a big difference. Um I feel like again we really had a, had a good chance on this match. I just made really bad misplays. Uh, and that biggest one, I think, was leaving like was not getting rocks up. I think had you got rocks up sooner, that Viker bot would have been much less of an issue. Yeah, my my uh, we we were flawed from the start, 
And, you know, it's it's important when you lose battles, especially big ones like this, to, to rec recognize that. Um, and we were flawed from the start. Like, they did really well, you know, uh, in this uh, in this battle. They prepped well. Can't win them all. You can't win them all. And it does suck to lose week one. But you know what? It's fine, because next week we can bounce back. Although, having said that, we're up against Automatic, and he is a phenomenal battler, and we are actually yet to win against him in a previous league, in a previous, like, round. So you know what? I can't wait. <laughs> oh, gosh, this is not going to be a good season. No, I'm lying. This is going to be a great season. I've got a, we've got some great battles coming up. Next week, though, we are up against Automatic, um, and uh, he actually runs the league. He's the owner of the league. So that's going to be fun. Uh, he's got a very scary team. Um, yeah, no, they just prep really well. Like as I said, we were we were flawed from the start. They didn't even bring in the Surfetch once. Like, what can you do? What can you do? We we started really well, and we literally just we took a big dive spin. I think as soon as we tried to get those double spike, those double like toxic spikes up, which were pointless because the Milo tick wasn't about the Fable didn't matter. The Cascamory and the Microvolt didn't get used, like didn't get affected by them. Um, it was just it. Yeah, it just was is what it is. You know, they they did what they had to do, and they did a really good job to do it. And I unfortunately, I just didn't prep enough. You know, the steel feck um berry on the fable was huge. Didn't even think about that. Not gonna lie, completely forgot about the berries. Most people do. I completely forgot about them. All in all, without going any further, that's a great battle. Props to my opponent. Make sure you guys go show them some love. Please go check them out. Their channel out link will be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and learned something. I most certainly did. And hopefully we can perfect it in next week's match. We'll be up against Automatic. So that'll be a good time. So join us for that. Otherwise, guys, thanks so much. Um, do check out, you know, the uh, link in the description. If you want to snag yourself some Crystal Palace and merch, please do. Even, if, even though we did lose, please, please check it out. Even if you grab yourself a sticker, they're cool. Have a look. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your boy Silvini. We'll catch all you blue people next time.